You know, I'm, it makes me very sad because I feel like people will never see how effective my hips are. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's a good thing. It's that, a, that's no, a good no, no, thing. These hips, these hips, there's something Respect. else. You know, I don't have a lot about. of great qualities, but hi- my hips are among them. Hmm. <laughs> I'll never be appreciated. <laughs> never. And then the hips are always covered by the bottom half of the casket. Yeah. Oh, that's true. that's true. Wow. I'm a very sad person. Even in um, You should get one of those display caskets that, like, tips up. <laughs> yeah, we have an Ash yeah. Wednesday today. I should <laughs> mention right my half-Asian lawyer, Bill Richman, is here. Hey. Uh, quarterback Garrett is here. Don't Audio way too cute. Maddie and overlays. She's so cute, it makes me want to vomit. I did. Yeah. That's because I'm bulimic, Duke. and Gerald A. is here. Yes. Good. <laughs> wow. Glad to Moving see you're on your A game. Affirmative. Uh, what was I about to say? Something about being, I don't know. I just don't like myself uh, with the you hips. Should. My wife and I got sad. into an argument where I, I found out that she want, she wanted me to be cremated. Really? Like, how do you have a say in this? Well, no, that's, well you're not going to be around to have a say. Yeah, I know. But then she got offended. I said, leave me uh, on the curb on trash day. And she was like, how oh, could you? I'm like, you want to burn me. <laughs> you want to put me in a pizza oven. Well, well I mean, it'll be other people's eyes. They do it. Than it'll than be, it'll be a blend. It looks it's like a, a pizza break. oven. Yeah. I don't know. Be a blend. I'm not a crematorium expert. <laughs> That's true. We We've need never a cremation analyst here. That's what happened on CNN. We're like I want to, I want a cre- cre- I want a cremation analyst stat. Like I don't know. There's this guy. It'll work. <laughs> it, and that was, <laughs> and that was Sanjay Gupta. Yes, and it was Sanjay Gupta. Uh, <laughs> yes, fire does burn. He's showing us Back how to, to properly uh, cremate someone and then wash your hands. <laughs> yeah. Stay six and feet away. Cuomo was like, "Did you see my scan in my lung?" He's like, "Yep, yeah, you're a, yes, you're a pussy." So <laughs> let's go. <laughs> You see Chris Cuomo now? He's saying that he wants, uh, he, he's tired of being a, a partisan hack. Yeah. So he wants to leave really? CNN because he thinks that they're doing Trump's bidding. Wow. Wow. Whoa, 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 wait. I thought this there was going is, the other way. I want to be clear. Violence never solves problems. But <laughs> there's only one person who would ever be willing, because he's always threatened to people physically. Chris yeah, Cuomo's like, I'm tough. Throw when I train, I'd do a celeb for charity. I'd do a celebrity fight with Chris Cuomo. Oh, of course. Yeah. I would yeah. watch that. Court, Chris, you, you picked the charity. We both have the same combat experience, which is effectively yeah. zero. We're the right. exact same size. Um, of course, you'd have to drug test Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Ageless male clinic. We get it. Right. Um, <laughs> and uh, he'll soon be out of a job. And you can call him Fredo. So <laughs> yeah. it is Mug Club Quarantine. Hashtag Mug Club Quarantine. Everything is for free, of mm-hmm. course, available in front of the paywall. Before we go to an Ash Wednesday, you enter in the promo code QUARANTINE and you get $30 off. Yep. Uh, because this yeah. qual- this caliber of content doesn't fund itself, folks. That's right. I don't know why I just did it as Kevin Spacey. This caliber of content doesn't fund itself, folks. Stop it. Stop it. I didn't write it. Um, <laughs> Wait, yes. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> just now. I should have prepped more. Yeah. So everyone has been asking me before we get or to less. Ash Wednesday, though, uh, to take this political compass test. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Apparently, this is a trend making the rounds. Really? And yes, so is. I have to do another thing that I don't like. Is it like a liberal test? Or do, what do we know about this? I don't know. And I oh, don't okay. care. But you it's... care. So uh, do they really? take the test along with me. I I'm, I'm willing to bet that I'll just come out as, as sort of basic bitch conservative right. we'll with see. libertarian leanings. We'll okay. See. I'm willing to bet. What? Who knows? I don't know, but uh, you let me know if you've taken this test and how uh, you turned out. You know, uh, you said yeah, there were some instructions <laughs> that I, I should it, know. Yeah, so um, there's just a couple. They're like not really that clearly labeled. It says, this isn't a survey. These aren't questions. They're propositions. Hmm. To question the logic of an individual one that irritates you is to miss the point. Oh. So just mm-hmm. just to yeah. forewarn you, He's there prick. may be illogical yeah. propositions <laughs> it actually here. That's good because the, the instructions of, yeah. irritate me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it says uh, the logic of individual ones that irritate you. Yeah, yeah. so, so uh, I had to correct Multiple. it. Yeah. I corrected it for <laughs> them. Uh, some propositions are extreme, some are moderate. That's how we can show whether you lean towards extremism or moderation mm. on the compass. compass. Your responses should not be over thought some of them are intentionally vague so just to be clear these are often illogical <laughs> right you shouldn't think yeah. too much like what rachel maddow tells us to do don't think it's right. not the time for thinking Can't start um, for thinking. and also they're going to be intentionally vague okay mm. i already don't like it but uh by popular request <laughs> i am doing this i would rather be waterboarded and people say think that i just say that hyperbolically no i would rather no, be waterboarded yeah. than take this test absolutely every test we've taken other than jordan peterson's has sucked it's true, yeah, and that one was they, incredibly uncomfortable because was, they had yes. the live results, right? And everyone found out all of my deepest, darkest exactly. secrets. Exactly, that was yeah. kind of funny, actually. Yeah. Namely, right. that I, I suffer from an incredible guilt complex, oh, but please, for some reason, I'm open to new experiences. So let's go. <laughs> hey, <laughs> um, <laughs> because if you take the facets, all the Um All right. <laughs> That sounds nothing like Jordan. I, by the way, no, we love Doctor. I want to be very, very clear. 
He just has a funny yeah. way of speaking. Yeah. He does. <laughs> He's brilliant. I watched a body language Lovable. expert, by the way, who said that Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan was asserting dominance because his palms were down. Mm. Mm. Apparently this means, Dominate. I mean you no harm, except this means I'm going to smother you. you. <laughs> but what about the crabs or the, the animals that have red under their arms and they show their signs of poison? See? What are they showing you there? This yeah. is back off, buddy. Hey, back off, pal. You should do that next time you're almost going to get into a fight. Someone let me know. Comment. Yeah. <laughs> next time I get into a fight with a crab. Yeah. <laughs> no, you should and do I that. speak their language. See what and happens. I just go. <laughs> <laughs> and walk side to side. <laughs> I saw those Toyota uh, Honda Element commercials. <laughs> um... <laughs> Why am I referencing a very, a very short-lived, yeah. <laughs> unproductive, unsuccessful yeah. series of commercials for a car that was immediately discontinued? It's a good poll. Yes. It's Terrible. A good poll. It's released. So okay. the first cool. proposition. Okay, first test proposition. <laughs> okay, let me read this. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. If, if economic globalization is inevitable, it should serve humanity. Uh, okay. I already don't. I know this is how this is going to go. I, know, right? I really <laughs> Way don't to start like out. this test. So do, I, do I have to do this? Yes. Yeah. Can we just go to Ash Wednesday? <clears throat> no. Can I just start? No. Can we just go to a cigar? No. No. <laughs> no. There's a reason why we made you sign something saying you were going to do this. Test. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have a cigar to look forward to. Though. Uh, There's a defibrillator outside. Don't worry. We're <laughs> no, prepared. Well, no, no. We ran out of defibrillator. We asked for forty thousand. They only sent us four. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. If economic globalization should apparently serve humanity, well, I believe that should. should in the world of economic globalization, a country should primarily focus on the needs of its people. So I guess that would be disagree. I would, I would disagree. Okay, disagree. Disagree. Yeah. I'd always support me. my country whether it was right or wrong. Disagree. I do feel right. like if they started, you know, uh, rounding up MSNBC journalists, I would make sure that someone spoke for them so that there would still be one to remain to speak for me. There you go. Yeah. So, but only one. Uh, support my country. Whether <laughs> also, where would we have rebuttals? Right. <laughs> We'd, be out of a job. We'd have a very shallow pool <laughs> of right. content to rebut. Uh, whether it was right or wrong. So disagree. All right. No one chooses his or her country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Okay. Here's the thing. I've always said you shouldn't be necessarily proud of intrinsic characteristics just because they're intrinsic. Like I'm proud because I'm right. black. Okay. I'm proud because I'm white, right. and that's why I don't really, I don't uh, actually agree with the ideology of sort of of a white nationalist or identitarians. But there is a difference, and I understand where they're coming from here. And this is why the this this poll can't be answered. Poll survey can't be answered accurately because an answer from the United States is very different from every other every other country. Yeah. They come from a people, right? A race, an ethnicity. Mm -hmm. I am proud of the United States because of the ideas that it right. represents. Mm -hmm. right, we yeah. were formed by people who signed on. And anyone who's taken their naturalization oath knows that you have to say, all right, I support these values. I want to take part in the experiment yeah. that is basically a giant, that flag might as well wave the values of this country. So in my instance, uh, I strongly disagree because I think you can be proud of your country if it's a country founded on ideals like the United States. Because we ended slavery. So that's something to be proud of, go. right? Yeah. You and your silly little pedestrian reductive tests. And I mean that in a way that is insulting. Being reductive is not the necessarily most. bad. Are you that's filling out the answers here? It is. Uh, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing it because of the way we set this. I'm Don't doing it on my iPad and Too Cute Maddie is doing it live. So that's why I'm saying everything uh, verbally. Okay, yeah. like, uh. I think I'm going to strongly disagree uh. with this now. <laughs> and then you'll hear a <laughs> click. <laughs> click. <laughs> Uh, all right. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. Strongly disagree. Again, though, does that, obvious. like, there are different, I mean, for example, if you're going to compare, like, are, there are differences, like, if you compare me to probably uh, Bill's family tree, height. Right. It's true. But he can crawl into smaller spaces. Yeah. That's valuable. Yeah, that's a benefit. He doesn't, he doesn't bemoan the coach like airline a, seat yeah. because he can still, you know, swing his legs like the little Oscar Mayer kid at the dock. <laughs> Just like a wiener dog, I can like get into the ferret hole. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Whoa. Oh, I have a story about that. Did I ever tell you my ex-girlfriend's grandfather in Germany had a, uh, uh, what's a, a wiener a, a dog? Dachshund. Dachshund. I'm not going to, I won't be reduced to that. Ugh. Dachshund. Uh, and <laughs> it was chasing a gopher into a hill. Mm. And, uh, or a groundhog. What's the difference? Doesn't matter. So he's chasing a groundhog into a hill. You know, I had a hole in the side of a hill. The wiener dog, shit. Daxon, <laughs> this is what you do to me. Yourself. This is what you do to me. You've all gone yeah, down in my, baby. now you've gone down in my, my book. So, uh, you have a book? chases the groundhog. The groundhog goes in. I guess at the end there's like a, you know, sort of like a groundhog cul-de-sac. And it 
loops around, buries the wiener dog in the hole. Ooh. Groundhog comes out. They have to dig in from the top <laughs> of the hole. Took them like eight hours. Oh, wow. wow. The dog Poor was dog. fine. The dog was yeah. fine. Yeah. Wow. Good. True story. Brilliant. You want to message come in, little bastard? You're going to stay here Groundhogs forever. are heartless They are. Uh, they don't, don't like many toxins. superior qualities <laughs> compared to other races. No. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. There's no neutral. It depends on the. It yeah. depends on the context. The context. enemy of my enemy is my friend. I. Uh, I mean, I. I either disagree or agree. Dealer's choice. What do you, What do you think on this? Agree or disagree? I put agree. I would is say. Is he talking about yeah. like foreign policy? Yeah, like, I mean, because I understand I mean, yeah. sometimes you have to make friends yeah. with a lesser evil to take out the worst evil. I think but there's it's a, yeah. talking about Fortnite, and yeah. so I put agree. <laughs> yeah. But there's a, yeah. <laughs> But there I is was a answering mine yeah. based on yeah. Call of Duty <laughs> protocol. Oh, yeah. no. Could be a free-for-all. Yeah, but there's this a is why this test is bad. <laughs> yes. There's Are a difference between having common values and having a common enemy. Right. And mm. having common values is more friendship. And having a common enemy, it's like a co-belligerent more kind of relationship. So I don't know. I mean, it's, it's this not is a very as good hell. question. Hey, this is I think you used counseling. a lot of words and said nothing. <laughs> so just I, so right. I am going to spite agree. Thanks. Got it. Agree. Duly noted, sir. Smug bastard. Military action <laughs> that defies international law is sometimes justified. Agree. Agree. Well, again, this like you, you can, yeah. a perfect example is not military, but I have direct experience with this when you talk about big tech. They're saying, well, we have to please all nations. Then haul me out in cuffs to Pakistan, sweetheart, because they want I have actual complaints from the government of Pakistan. In other words, no. The entire government. Yeah. The United yes. States yes. Yep. matters more. Yeah. Uh, so I said, okay, I agree. Th there is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Uh, agree. Yeah. Agreed. I agree. <laughs> if economic globalization... I'm not a journalist. I want to be very clear. I am incredibly biased. Take that to the back. Uh, but you're honest about it. Honestly. Wait, no, no, hold on a second. What is this doing? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I wasn't page. clicking it. Yeah, you got to oh, click them. Yeah. Oh, come on. Got to click them. All right, so em. you know what? I'm not going to actually acknowledge my answers. Too cute, Maddie. You're doing it because I can't send my answers to the team. Someone else talk yeah. real quick. I'm just, just going to write a yeah. So I'm going to read the next question. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. Four options. Strongly disagree. Disagree. Agree. Strongly agree. Uh, I mean, I guess, uh, I guess agree. I guess agree, but I don't. It's not in every instance. It depends. It depends. I I, I agreed as well, but I mean, if you go down, necessary. if you go down to a place, like, if you go down to Sweden or Iceland, you're going to stick out a little more than the United States. We're more divided by class, but again, yeah. that's because we're a country of ideas, not country a country of a race of people. So. Right. I, I think if you if you know personally, I would say class and nationality. I would say people are more divided by class and nationality, but yeah. there are five or six or ten other things that are yeah. more divisive. Yeah. Um, types such as morals or cultural beliefs or that. Or type good of things thing. like defined by your defined by your beliefs, defined more right. defined by your family. Right. And this is something that's really important. This, this I can tell, is likely written by some, a collectivist. If someone ever tells you that they care just as much about the entire globe, or even the country, or even their town, as they do their son, their daughter, their wife, or husband, they are lying to you. Yep. And so any system of government that is not predicated on the idea that people will look out for their family first is just, it's a sham. Okay. Yeah. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Well, I don't think we should be controlling any of it. Uh, right. But uh, disagree, I guess. I don't know if anyone if anyone I, if I anyone agreed. disagrees with me, you can shout out. So I agreed because I think if you control inflation a little bit better, it'll help unemployment. I, I didn't like the. I mean, Maybe. The, again, the whole the questions themselves are yeah. so screwed up. I mean, yeah. right. the idea yeah. that we're going to value unemployment is this whole idea that yeah, you want to create a lot more jobs, let's go around and smash all the cars. You know, right. you're going to need a <laughs> lot more jobs. We're going to bring those horse yeah. jobs back. Yeah, I mean. You know, so horse it, jobs. It's not the quality like of life. It's all you're doing is trying to get people to do jobs. But again, some of these may be illogical. Ah, <laughs> yes. yes. Thank or you for the intentionally yeah. vague. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. I agree. Now, I don't mean intrusive I'm regulation. I agree. Yeah. But sure. there is, there yeah. does need to be some regulation. There needs to be a level sure. playing field for all of us. Well, just there also needs to be some regulation to make sure that that corporations aren't abusing the law, aren't breaking the law, just like individuals. Right. In other yeah. words, right. there that needs to be sense. some regulation yeah. to make sure that you're not shoplifting. There also needs to be some regulations to make sure that owners of corporations aren't shoplifting. <laughs> yeah. If you're pouring <laughs> some scale. chemical in somebody else's lake, that's a problem. Is right. that right. good? Like Nestle. Send your letters to Audio <laughs> <laughs> Wow. From each according to his ability to. Each according to his mm. need is a fundamentally good idea. I no. 
Uh, like from each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. Is this trying to say you eat what you kill? Or is this trying to say that, like, no, China, where people should be the going, communist like, manifesto you, took, you, took your, you took your exam, here's a sickle, go to field. This you know means, what I mean? This right. means mm. you make a whole bunch of money, that's fine, you don't need all of it. Whatever you make is going to be distributed to people that need it. Okay, more than then disagree. You. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, you know, and here's a really interesting point. Or sorry, at, strongly disagree. Strongly, yeah. yeah. So at a high enough level, right? We all have similar values about protecting family or love or life. It's a lot of it is the details of how you get it done, yeah. right? Because yeah. even some people would be like, "Look, communism might be ideally good, but you can't really achieve it. Like, there's no real right, way yeah. to do it with human beings, the life we right, live, and yeah. the resources that are available. Yeah. So it's a pipe dream, right? right? And then other people would go, "Okay, but if you want to live communism, just see what Stalin did, right?" So you're into yeah. communism, you're into Stalinism, right? Oh, no, no, that's just a different version. Yeah. So it's right. So the devil is in the details on how that gets done. That This is, I think, what I can already tell where we're going to be at the end of this. Where yeah. The questions are clearly, gore, you know, kind of getting you in a direction. What yeah. version so. of communism is China? Um, the best. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm contractually yeah. obligated yeah. to say that. I was, about but say, I yeah. was unconvinced. <laughs> You've swayed me. Uh, well, <laughs> changed my mind. Until so the wet markets. This all, yeah, this all basically depends on the... But somebody else gets to decide what your ability is and what your need is. Well, yeah. that's, that's, right. that's, that's the yeah. communist assumption. Well, that's, here's the thing. Yeah, I do I think that someone should eat what they kill. In other words, not only ability, yes. but work ethic, right? Determination. Yeah. I do think that people should ultimately be in control of their own destiny. When we're talking about physically here on Earth, because I believe that God is ultimately in charge of your destiny, that's why no man has a right to put limitations on your destiny. But if yeah. we're talking about each of their ability as determined by birth, as you see in communist countries, then of course I strongly disagree. Yeah. Uh, the freer the market, the freer the people strongly agree. Mm -hmm. I already mm -hmm. said there need to be some regulations, but we should err on the side of freer Freedom. markets. It's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled, branded consumer product. Strongly disagree. Because you some it. people yeah, not... have crappy tap water. Yeah. Flint? It's well, I mean, your right to drink public water. Yes. It is not your right to have Aquafina uh, take the water, purify it, reverse osmosis it, and uh, or, have it, or a company have it piped to your... Uh, Tap. By the way, uh, in every country where they have droughts and every country where they have a hurricane come through and knock out all these services, they love the fact that a company makes bottled water. Yeah. Right. Because it saves Very their lives. Convenient. Except Dasani. That stuff, that, I like Dasani. That stuff tastes like wet nickels. I don't like Aquafina. <laughs> yeah. Aquafina tastes a little bit like the inside of a squirt gun. Uh, it does. Land shouldn't <laughs> be a bad. commodity. We all know that. <laughs> Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold. Strongly dis. What do you What do you do what? with it? <laughs> yeah, what is, you just sit strongly on. Strongly disagree. Smoke. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. I agree. If we're talking about like speculators and people who don't actually run a business, people who, who or people. Here's the thing. It matters if you're talking about people who receive bailout after bailout after bailout That's different. and aren't contributing to the economy and who are gaming the system. But I would put those people, you know, corporate welfare queens, in the same camp as actual welfare queens. Yeah. That's not the same as um, a, a company who employs people. Yeah, I, think, I, mean, I think this yeah. question is basically saying somebody who has money and all, the only way that they make money is by buying and selling like stocks and manipulating money essentially is... You, this is a bad person in society. I'm like, well, no, they're not. They, right. they, serve, I mean, I see, a, they I serve a role. I see it even in, in like a more narrow line. Like, for example, the whole mortgage crisis. And because peripheral vision? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's hard. I mean, the, these slits, man, they like go on both sides. Uh, so it's when like, I get tired, uh, I get racist. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Steven, I love you're it. not yourself when yeah, you're tired. Just, you know, it's all right. It's okay. all right. All right. So Here's a snicker. A no, no, I was going to say <laughs> collateralized debt obligations. That's, you know, when people mm -hmm. took CDOs. mortgages and yes. then they, had, they yeah. mixed the good ones with the bad ones and we led to a problem like that I think is the level where you would say yeah I, I agree that that it's regrettable yeah. that that's happening but the simple ability to like lend money or you know those types of functions I, we need those we have to have those how many pages of this do we it's have 79 yeah no how so, many do we know because we might not be six. able to do an Ash Wednesday it's we're just gonna six. have to do this this will be the whole show this might yeah. be the whole thing amazing uh, well I'm not happy about it uh, <laughs> now you get no protectionism cigar protectionism <laughs> is yeah I know can someone, can some? is that Walther loaded? <laughs> it's not. Hey, if no. you eat enough, what me is eat enough coffee, it'll do the same in, thing. In trying, yeah. to be, in trying to be at this point sort of a, in trying to be an intellectual, an exercise in intellectualism, it's yeah. actually um, it's simplified stupidity. It is. <laughs> this yeah. is inaccurate. This is so, like, what are you talking about yeah. here? There, there are a million different answers we could give, but I know where you're trying to get right. me to go with yeah. this. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. Agree. Um, and I've actually become uh, more center on that since uh, I've woken up to you guys. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its 
shareholders. Well, hold on a second. Did you say the fiduciary obligation or the only social responsibility? Leading question, Your Honor. <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> By the way, businesses aren't created to have social responsibilities. They're created to deliver goods or services, which you may know as rights to some people, mm, yeah. like it's, bottled purified water. It's yes. the people that are running the corporations that have social responsibility. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. I mean, I guess, I guess I'll just say agree because I think their financial responsibility is to yes. run the business yeah. honestly and deliver a profit to its shareholders. Yeah. Uh, the rich are too highly taxed. Strongly agree. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not necessarily amongst them, but when you look at, we've talked about this, when you take into account 47% of Americans don't pay any, pay any federal income tax, then you take a huge portion of Americans who pay very little and you take into account the federal transfers, meaning what? Public schools, when you talk about public goods and services, when you talk about welfare, when you talk about EBT cards, they actually pay a net negative over 50% tax. Go back, we did a whole segment on it. And I was really upset when I dug into the research. <laughs> Have you done the research? Those, if you've done the research, <laughs> Gerald, 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 you're glib. Now stop taking over this segment because you will make me upset. <laughs> I love setting you down the Tom Cruise path. You've never seen me. Very upset. I miss my co host. Okay. <laughs> Those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. Fuck off. These are actual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, now this doesn't define if we're talking about thing. national uh, borders, if yeah. we're talking about domestic borders, because yeah. guess what? Even the people who are not 47% of Americans who are paying nothing in federal income tax are able to, to, to procure better health care than yeah. anybody in Indonesia. So what is this? Is this international? True. Is it domestic? I'll just say. It's a good uh, question. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> After that, it was just, there was no strongly agree. to either one of those. <laughs> I agree. But, yeah, it's, but it's, hated to yeah. see strongly. God, the problems with these questions are <laughs> yeah. just it, yeah. innumerable. I mean, you're essentially going around just saying, "Well, it doesn't matter if it's if it's a higher, it's a little bit higher. Can you pay a little bit better?" Well, I don't know. I want the band aid with the butterflies on it. Like, yeah, I'm willing <laughs> yeah. to pay seven to yeah. fifty dollars more for that band aid. Right. But but is that it's it's higher? But is it below standard? Right? Well, Should people have substandard care? This next one is: Are you stuck on band? Band-Aid brands, because Band-Aid stick on me. <laughs> oh, I brought it up because I thought you were talking about it. I thought it was real. <laughs> Strongly agree. What? Yeah. Strongly agree. I was convinced by that young gentleman of color. Yeah. And I'm stuck on Band-Aid brand because germs don't stick on me. Brand. By the way, yeah, brand. it also doesn't kill. Yeah, the brand. What did I say? No, no, you have to specify yeah, brand. Perfect. That's what I said. Yeah, you did. Why are you correcting <clears throat> me? Is this some kind? Is this some kind of getting back at me for your forefathers? Slave. Only a quarter <laughs> of them were slaves. Okay. Wow. I don't you know don't even know about. them. Steve is making that up. Government <laughs> should penalize businesses. My lawyer wants to move on. That <laughs> does. Mislead. Yes, he's like, okay. Government should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Agree. <laughs> Strongly agree. That's a perfect example of government. A business yeah. has the right to provide a good or service, even if it offends certain people who don't like that service. Well, especially. But they don't have the ability, they don't have the right to lie to the public about it. Right. That's the role of the government. Like I've said, a hockey referee, not soccer because it's gay. The reason a hockey referee matters <laughs> is because a hockey referee, and you know this Dang, being from yeah. St. Louis, if it doesn't affect the flow of the game, if it's incidental, the ref keeps his whistle in his pocket. Let it go. Yeah. Someone wants to flop, go ahead and flop over there with the other guys with man buns. Ice we don't hard. care. We're following the puck. <laughs> Uh, a genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Mm, Agree? I don't. Ooh. I don't. Right. Anarchist over here. Typically, monopolies work themselves out. Right. How many victims in the path of that monopoly? I don't agree. Ooh. How many victims in the path of governments that overregulate? None, Ooh. none. They're totally fine. Oh, boy. Go China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only, the only monopoly you end up with is the state as the monopoly, and we then got you're all screwed. buns so. of anarchy over yeah, here. Yeah, no, seriously. That's because it's a, it's a play on words of the, the show, and he has a very nice posterior. Oh, oh it's so wow. nice. Buns of anarchy. Yeah, is it because <laughs> I wore the tighter pants today? Doesn't Gerald look like a <laughs> square-jawed version of the Travago guy? <laughs> yeah. Travago. I can see that. <laughs> Abortion <laughs> when the woman's <laughs> life is not threatened. I was going through my mental Rolodex going, Priceline, that's William Shatner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> travel Zoo, no, no, is Expedia no, no, no. still a thing? Travago. Oh, the guy who looks like the toy soldier from that kid show? Travago. <laughs> who was the ta- guy with the plastic face in the kid show? Was it Bananas and Pajamas a bad guy? What? what? No, someone's going to know what you're talking about. <laughs> Abortion when the woman's yeah, life the is not threatened should always be illegal. Strongly agree. Yes. All authority people are like, what about rape and incest? The question didn't include it. Yeah. No. So don't be pedantic. All authority should be questioned. Yeah. Strongly agree. Yeah. 
an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. There isn't even context to that one, but I'll say, uh, agree. Um, I mean, you can't have people just going around stealing eyes and teeth. Or yeah. teeth, yeah. You gotta be Except able to take it back. Damn no. tooth fairy. Yeah. No, when she talk about Monopoly. I still what strongly. No I, competitors I since ever. Yeah. Well, I for and an she eye has no concept <laughs> of inflation. <laughs> yeah. Well, eye for an eye and tooth for tooth is a quote from the Bible. Right. Yeah, that's, a little, <laughs> so like, that's why I well, said disagree but, because I didn't want to disagree with my Lord. <laughs> you should definitely disagree. <laughs> We're going TV biblical. Down. Yeah. Don't tell me what to agree and disagree no, I said with, Mr. Trevago. Going, if you're going biblical. Oh, okay. Because he brought that in. All right. Biblical. Thank you. You've heard it said. And Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot, of, of course, strongly agree. I don't even yeah. need to finish this question. <laughs> theaters? Why do I, I care? Theaters. I want the, that's one of the rare instances where I want the government to shut them down. It's local <laughs> I mean, community theater. Please. Did you see our Is Into the Woods? No, I don't want to watch cardboard cutouts and people who can't sing a note. That's yeah. why I didn't go. I mean, I like museums, so I kind of was like, all right, I, I see a public good for museums. Fine. <laughs> we need subpar productions of Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what this country yeah. needs. Oh. Oklahoma. I want a Blade Runner Oklahoma <laughs> mishmash. Yes. Oh. Yes. See, and yes. like no one would. Sn- well, I don't know. Maybe people. Maybe. Would pay for maybe. That. Wait. Wait. Wow. Why Blade Runner Oklahoma? I don't know. What about Dude, Judge Dredd and Guys and Dolls? Yeah. Why not? I got the horse right here. I am Paul Revere. <laughs> I'm telling you, I would watch this. And there's a guy that says the horse can do. <laughs> Can do. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I was a Mel Gibson voicemail. Yeah, yeah. but I will give this production one more chance. <laughs> one more chance. And you will <laughs> starring. <laughs> Blow me he, away. He deserves yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He deserves he deserves it. Starring Mel Gibson because he has to work his way back up. <laughs> he's just sitting there doing. He's just sitting there doing West Side Story. He's like, uh, it cool. <laughs> Doing the most riveting that? career. Cool boy. <laughs> I'll call back in five. <laughs> Amazing. Schools should not, are you hearing me? I'm on sprint. <laughs> should not. <laughs> schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. Okay, this is also difficult because I come from Canada where homeschooling was so difficult that we only knew one kid my entire life who yeah. was homeschooled. His name was Simon. And we were pretty sure he was retarded or a sociopath. Turns out both. both yeah. Because yeah. he killed a guy and didn't know why. Oh, <laughs> wow. He just looked at him like Michael Myers. <laughs> And we're like, you killed him. He's like, like well, that's not a response. Yeah, yeah. Snapped his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's going to be pissed. Um, <laughs> not that Simon. I shouldn't use actual names. Yeah. Uh, uh, First uh, name. oh. Schools. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. All right, agree. We should agree. definitely be. We don't need any more agree. truancy beat cops running yeah. around. So yeah. Go swing your baton at the private schools. Um, what is that? Is that a baton or a billy club? Billy club. Yes, well, and the un- now, don't forget the whistle. Now, now see here, you shouldn't be out there by the shopping mall. Something tells me of a calculus class to be attending. Huh. What are you going to do? Not much. I'll just complain here. Keep swinging that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Put it in a paddy wagon. <laughs> yeah. Put what? Paddy wagon. In a paddy wagon. The paddy wagon. Take it down the paddy wagon. You Swedish chef mashup. Spirity burgundy. Good back in schooling. How dare you? How all people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. I don't. I know that's. I know that's attempting to be Please racist. So I'll just say what is that? disagree. Disagree. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Strongly agree. Absolutely. I, I agree. I'm pro spank, yeah. and not like yeah, the uh, story that uh, Vision Bill Wilson was telling us before yeah. air. I think there are more effective ways a lot of times, but I am. Everyone else got quiet because you think he can fire you. Yeah. No, I I spoke up. You just chose not to listen. I made a funny sorry, face. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm pro spanking. I just think there are better ways most of the time. Uh, not no, all the time. Not with me. <laughs> well, that's true. Not it, with it little, does depend not on the with three, four, yes, five years. Hey, I was unpunishable if not violent. Yeah. Hey, hey, do you think you would have listened if the bamboo yeah. splinters had come out? Did you get hit with bamboo? No, no. Stabbed oh. with keys once. Well, that's not nice you, because at stab least with bamboo, keys? it's renewable. How do you not stab someone with keys, Gerald? Yeah. Have you ever seen a piano? Like you How do you take keys. them off of the piano and stab you with keys? Are you talking car keys? It's like he never, he's keys. never, he's oh. never oh. used keys. Wow. Well, you said it for piano, and I'm like, piano Gerald keys, this doesn't make any sense. Life. You know, if you, were, if you were a band, you would be the black hole keys. 
I see what you did. Wow. It's natural for children to keep some secrets <laughs> from their Shame. parents. Strongly agree. I mean, I don't really know what's yeah, natural I mean, for some kids to keep secrets. I don't know. Yeah. Kids lie all the time. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not <laughs> be a criminal offense. Agreed. Uh, first, Agreed. is that parent secret thing a political question? I don't know. <laughs> Why is it on is the that, is this, yeah, Are these political it's questions or is this trolling <laughs> for underage boys? It sounds like, <laughs> like someone had How like do you a, feel about you socialism? Like see, yeah. How do you feel about the nationalization yeah. of banks? Also, shh, can you keep secrets? Yes. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like someone's making this from home. They're working from home and they're like, See, look, Johnny, it's on the test that says you should not keep secrets from the your government. Says, says, Shh, I already selected share cookies. <laughs> Dang it. Wow. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. Agree. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Whoa. Ooh. Strongly disagree. Ooh, well, you guys true. agree? Anyone Ooh. here agrees? No, no, no. We're, I agree with There'd be a few said. people here Ooh. who wouldn't be on the reproduction yeah. list if Ooh. it was being created by someone Ooh. in Washington, D.C. Oh, I don't even want your answer because you guys started it. Not started it. You're just the only ones Look, who still, you still carry the torch. I'm planning. not saying it's my position, but <laughs> the fine government of China would strongly agree. Right. Yeah. I like our early army's position. I'm going to cut off your balls so that you cannot infect the rest of the world. That's disgusting. It was good. It was a good position. It was a good position. No yeah. more ball talk. That film was saved. That film was saved. That's the only part worthwhile. That's, 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 that's the only thing. Yeah. You stop it Clock after he's done. orange. Like, how many hobos do you need to watch get beat up? <laughs> yeah. So many. Brilliant. We really get it. Uh, oh, yeah. Saw Space Odyssey. Great 20-minute intro that's nonsensical. <laughs> you wasted my time. <laughs> the most important time thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. You lack discipline. Uh, <laughs> I Stop guess, it. I guess agree. I mean, I think the most important thing they need you to learn is how to interact say. with the world. Yeah, I, dis I disagreed discipline. because I thought there was something else more and important. don't but. miss the ball. Guys, you, you clearly there don't have bars. kids yet. I'm going to tell you right now, keep it in your f***ing diaper is rule number one. Dude, okay? Happens all the time. Don't even bleep that. This is going to be... Parents to be need to know... No, we, ab we absolutely oh, yeah, bleep true. that. Thank yeah. God for the delay as we yes. go live now. Yeah. Uh, no, I think... Um, this is going to be the equivalent to... You know how when we were kids and we like would pop in the VHS from like our third birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Your kid's going to pop this yeah. in <laughs> and sense the underlying rage. <laughs> that that well, time my kid get it. shit up his entire back, I have no idea how it got up there. He's a Mel Gibson of fathers. Keep the shit in the bowl! <sighs> One more chance. And you are out of chances. <laughs> <laughs> First, I put the Cheerios in there, and you missed those! So uh, angry. Why is he shitting yeah. up the Cheerios? <laughs> <laughs> How do you even aim for the My pee parents the Cheerios, put Cheerios huh? in for when I peed, and that's a oh. trick. To pee Wait, the what? Cheerios. Right, when you yeah, pee. Yeah, you put Cheerios oh. in the bowl, so Little you aim loops for the Cheerios. Aim for, okay. The problem is, then the Cheerios go, like, they go too close to the edge, and, and you're not you're... peeing for the center. Yeah. yeah. At least I didn't. And you're peeing on the walls. And plus, I'm not going to lie, there might have been a spite pee or two mixed in there. I was like, oh, yeah, where's the Cheerios? Yo. Oh, no back Cheerios? in the pantry. Oh, these. Got it. Dude, Got Cheerios. it. Good call. What is Dad. this supposed to represent? My, uh, I mean, this was actually I was I was fishing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Was, <laughs> what do you? Oh, also, the interesting well thing is when child. I go fishing, I do it with my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, All right, for Kevin explaining. Spacey. Yeah. I really appreciate it. <laughs> the Prince Albert comes in handy. Oh. Just put a little bobber on it. Oh. And pull up. Was it? Oh no! Is it a snack? It's a Cuomo nipple ring. Ow. That Ooh. is. I don't feel good about myself. Um, uh, I want better for I'm this sorry show. Sorry for asking. Yeah. Mm, the yeah. next installment will be a mass Monday. <laughs> <laughs> there are no. <laughs> there are no savage right. and civilized people. There are only different cultures. Strongly disagree because cannibalism. Yeah, yeah that's true. They that do eat people. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society support. Strongly yeah, agree. Baby. Yeah. Strongly. Strongly agree. That's agree. biblical. When you are troubled. It's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Yeah, um, I agree. As I, a mean, I mean, I think you need to deal with it and then move on. And I think, again, societally right now, we live in a society where people really encourage wallowing. Yeah. yeah. Like talking about your feelings to, to yeah, yeah. be productive, to analyze them and move on. But we've forgotten about the, the analysis the of moving, moving on. Part. And now we have yeah. an entire industry that relates to talking about feelings. Yeah. By the way, I don't feel good right now. Here's a pill. Yeah, that'll fix it. Yeah, pretty much. What pill, Here's another pill for oh, the side effects, What pill can though. I take for regretting a joke that I wish we weren't taping live <laughs> <laughs> that relates to my d being a fishing rod? I believe it is dispensed by a wolf. Is that Lexapro? <laughs> Jelly bellies. 
<laughs> Jelly Jeff Belly. Geis. Yum. Oh. <laughs> Ronald Reagan knew what he was doing. <laughs> when you are trouble, it's better to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Generally agree. Yeah. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. Disagree. That's not disagree. true. Oh. You know why? Because I know some immig- first generation immigrants, and this is one area where I disagree with, and identitarians get mad. Why don't you care about the, the preservation of your people? Uh, because a lot of my people are assholes. So, it's true. I, in, if you mean by my people, white, but I know yeah. uh, first generation immigrants who are far more American than kids who were raised here. Yeah. Yeah. Because my, my problem is not with immigrants coming here and taking jobs. My problem is with entitled Americans taking four year gender studies programs and then demanding that they have yeah. a job subsidized. Yep. No problem with the Indonesian. I I don't know why I keep going to that. No problem with the Bangladeshian. What is it, Bangladeshi? Bang- Can we say Bangladeshi? Bangladesh. But Bangladesh. Bangladeshi sounds like Paki. It does. Bangladeshian? I don't want to be racist. No, no. There's Pakistani and Bangladeshi. Okay. Yeah. Dashi. Sounds wrong. Dashi. You just can't call Bangladeshi. him a bangi. You can't call him a bangi. I can't call him a bangi. No bangi. No, no bangers. bangers. And mash. No bangers. Yeah. No. Got it. All right. Bangladeshi shopkeeper who pays his taxes and is grateful to be in America. Right. He is far more American than people I agree. banning right. speakers on campus. Can good I say, can good I people say are good people. One really quick point. Yeah. Regardless of your race, your background, what level of immigrant you are, because everyone immigrated here at some point. Uh, Not me. It's about it's about gratefulness, yeah. and. Not necessarily cooperation, but just like getting along with people. Right. And you you could be someone who's a 10th generation American and be not grateful yeah. and not excited to be around other yeah. people and yeah. moving forward as a country right. or as a community or as a culture. Sure. And you could be here five minutes and be that person. Right. So who's more American, Yakov Smirnov <laughs> or Alyssa Milano? I rest my case, Your Honor. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's good for the most successful corporations is always, ultimately, good for all of us. I guess I disagree, but yeah. I don't like the question. Just and I don't like always. who created this. Yeah. <laughs> Strongly disagree. No broadcasting institution, however independent its content, should receive public funding. Strongly agree. Oscar the Grouch should be shimmying that <laughs> trash can up to food stamps so fast it would make his can yeah. spin. <laughs> wow. Our civil liberties page Oscar four fan, huh? of six. <laughs> God, we're 37 minutes in. Yikes. I'm so sorry, folks. No, it'll, Again, it'll be uh, hit the notification. I, I have to do this. Hit the notification bell. Uh, if uh, you haven't yet hit all notifications because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Um, of course, the audio podcast is available on uh, I, Apple Podcasts, whatever. Yeah, if you're yeah. six feet away walking on a trail, yes. listen to the podcast. And of course, uh, use the promo code quarantine. We have a free. Yes. Well, we have shows there every day. We're doing it free all this month. And all videos, if you don't want to do any of that, you can't even be bothered to. It burns to hit notifications. Just check back every night <laughs> at 8 p.m. Yeah. yeah. 8 p.m. Same time. Check back. Same time. Every day. And the live stream, of course, on Thursday. And the Good Morning Mug Club all the month of April That's on Monday, true. Wednesday, Friday. Absolutely. Yeah. I knew you would plug that because. Because you are a part of it. Um, <laughs> I'm a part of this that too. Was, that was strangely <laughs> nice. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, Anything what? else? No, that's all. I have. Okay, good. Gerald, we just wasted your one nice thing for I the know. year. <laughs> <laughs> we just, there, no, there that's so all over. Some go. people got mad at me. They're like, I think Gerald should speak more during Mass Monday. I <laughs> just so you know, I literally created a show map, right. Audio Wake, and I said, yeah. you guys are. You guys are the guys I want to hear on yeah. this. So these are the in, this, these are the points I want to include. These are the Bible verses that I think are relevant. But I want you to take the lead. <laughs> Silence. So it's not my fault. I, I wasn't. It's silent. not my fault. He's I a mute. spoke a lot. No, I, I think I'm surprised some people said they would they like to that. see a Mass Monday show from you uh, every week. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. That, listen, I give you I give Gerald. you crap because you're so Gerald is so good natured, right? But Gerald is. Uh, Absolutely brilliant when it comes to areas, particularly of theology. And Gerald, just you got a great. When we were used to be on radio, had a yeah. great voice for radio, and now of course you're telegenic. Yeah. Now that you don't have the faux hawk anymore and the affliction shirts. <laughs> yeah, you're Much laughing, that's awesome. but that's true. It is no, I'm laughing because it's true. There's a fleur de lis on his ass embroidered <laughs> somewhere in a recent timeline. There's yes. still an imprint. See I if can't, you can find the I young adults church group. I'm sure they'll turn up. Um, <laughs> I was trying to be cool. Ours. <laughs> Wasn't working. We know. Trying. <laughs> Keyword. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. TSA, that kind of thing. A significant Magic advantage lantern. of a right. one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic but completely disagree. Yeah. So what? technically, it's so actually bad. true. It's just like why people say right. the problem with dictatorships isn't the control, it's that people do bad things. Right. But that doesn't mean that we want a one party state. Right. Yeah. Like, it avoids yes. all the arguments. Like none of the whistleblowers in right. China are there. They don't argue. Right. It's super easy. You yeah. don't have to like worry about counting. Yeah. You know, you're like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's what helpful. problem? Whistleblower? 
No problem. Nope, not a pee. But that's. But it still doesn't mean it's good. It's obviously not good. No I mean, except China. Yeah. <laughs> the Q whistleblower. And the Mao said that it was good. Although the electronic oh age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly disagree. Strongly, yeah, yes. What? As strong as possible. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Agree. I don't really have a strong yeah. opinion on it, but I'm I lean strong. toward agree. I'm strong. Um, yeah. Whatever's the cheapest way to dispose of the trash. Kill him twice. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> wow. Wow. I do agree, though. That's not an episode of West Wing I want to see. I feel like there had to be a death penalty episode, right? There was. Yeah. And they ended up struggling with it. Right. Or what's his name? Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Whit. What's, what's the guy's name? Whit, 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 Whitley? What? The guy who played oh, Josh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Or he might, Bradley Whitford. Madonna! It's wrong to kill people. And his forehead keeps growing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they brought up an issue and they character. struggled with it. That sounds like an interesting yeah, episode of West Wing. Well, no, he struggled, he struggled because of his Catholic faith. They, they're not supposed to believe in the death penalty, apparently. I didn't even remember the episode. IMDb. But that's so, I do. That's, I remember all of it, in fact. <laughs> that's so I don't even remember the, the show section. at all. It's so sad that he knows that. <laughs> it's, it's taking up valuable space that it could be used for something else. <laughs> But instead, West Wing. Actually, I love West Wing. All of them. And, I know and the you know what? It was series. one of those things where I started watching it late, like yeah. last year. And after four episodes, my wife and I were watching. We're like, shoot, Gerald was right about something. <laughs> <laughs> and it was television related. It was television related. <laughs> In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Uh, in a civilized society, uh, I mean, I guess I agree in the sense that you need some sense structure. of authority and structure. Leaders. Doesn't mean that someone has dominion over you outside of the legitimate purview of government. Yeah. But I, I guess I disagree and agree on that, like because there's caveats. The, if you disagreed at all, if you disagree with that statement, the way it's framed, you would have to be an anarchist because disagree would mean that you don't believe anyone should have authority over anyone at any right, point. Right. 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 I don't necessarily know maybe, maybe, that yeah. people. I think there should always be someone above you. But, uh, I mean, even the president has people above them. They have international sort of uh, accountability. Let's be honest, we don't really care about those. Um, <laughs> Can they really do anything? But, do, but, always, but I don't think someone always needs someone below them to be commanded. Right. right. I, that's how I read the question. Maybe I, I read it negatively. So, so I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's not a good it's question. It's a terrible question. <laughs> Thank you, audio. I put strongly it's a bad disagree. Audio. I put strongly disagree because I read it in a, in a different way. I mean, right. So well, don't change your answer. Keep it the way you, you, you I went. I know. That's what I'm saying. Right. Well, then I guess you've convinced vague. me I would say disagree, but we already entered it. Can yeah. I put in disagree? I'll put in, dis yeah. put disagree. in dis put in disagree. I agree with the first part that there needs to be rule of law, yes. but that doesn't mean that every person should have someone who's subservient. Right. The people I below to be commanded. See, I, was like, I, I read it as though them. you have to like always be obeyed. Someone all, that you have to always obey, and the people below always have to be commanded, which I strongly disagree with because otherwise, how do you have dissent and all that? That's yeah. a that's a very that's insightful good, yeah. observation because I read it as a, a sequel title to "As Above, So Below," and that shit sucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, that's odd. They we would don't include need it. In this wow. questionnaire. Really? Oh, huh. it wasn't even among the top five of found VHS genres of horror films. Yeah, this was written by Anton LaVey, actually. <laughs> this, oh, wow. Who the hell is that? This yeah. With the forward by sucks. Joe Swanberg. <laughs> we watched YouTube videos. Yeah. Found footage nice. questions. Um, abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Disagree. I think yeah, most abstract political? art what does sucks, that have to do with political? but right. I don't agree. There can be abstract art that is of value. And criminal justice punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Agree. I think I just I disagree I with people who say I don't think that I think that there needs to be punishment. Punishment. Well, that's the justice thing. is punishment. No, justice is not rehabilitation. This question is about in criminal justice. Right. Justice is yeah. punishment fitting right. the crime. I think it's great if after justice we can rehabilitate people. Right. Mm -hmm. But when you have places like uh, uh, as IKEA Sweden, right? Go look yeah. actually a story. Uh, Alexander Gustafsson, who fought in the UFC. He committed like a violent crime. I think mm. he's, I don't know exactly what he did, but it was violent. He yeah. admitted that it was violent and he, re he reformed. He became a better guy, but he was like a hood, right? He was a, he was a street tough. Yeah. In Sweden? Um, I know. I know. I know. Maybe that's weird. You he know, was. Going to Red Ribbon? But uh, you, can, you can see this kind of uh, cell he was in the prison. It yeah. was like an IKEA display. Well, yeah, I think like so. I, I think there's a little bit of balance here. So I, I completely agree that justice has to be served, but I think we would be better off as a society if we spent a lot more on rehabilitation than we did on just punishing. What, what should be more important in the realm of criminal justice? Punishment or rehabilitation? What is more important when I, we're I'm about just justice? assuming that you're going to have justice in there already. Maybe that's why I'm reading no, the question No, you can't way, assume. So. Don't assume. But it said, which is more important? It doesn't say get rid of one or the other. It says, it says in which criminal is more justice, important. not in what is better for society, in criminal justice. 
I would say what's more important is rehabilitation. That's you saying it. That's not the paper. <laughs> they they <laughs> yeah. add the paper asked the question. I None like, of us have papers. Why are we arguing? I like I like how Gerald changes the question and then he's like, but this is my answer, man. Yeah. I, I, I have an you, answer. I, I bet so you'd love I to meet him on the opposite side of a courtroom. Yeah. yeah. Like, You're oh, I see what this I see where this is going. <laughs> the question really is this. And let's grab the KY. <laughs> uh, wow. Hey. Metaphorically. Day one uh, in prison, huh? Yeah. You wouldn't do well in prison with those nope. fleur de lis jeans. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like yeah. a homing beacon. And the fine behind, you said. We thought pedophiles <laughs> fared poorly in federal prison. Like, man, I can, I, I can, I cannot tolerate pedo. Is that guy wearing embroidered flower jeans? <laughs> Damn. He ain't gonna walk right for a week. Look, it's been like over a decade. Why did I do that voice? Statistics. Doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Terrible. Would someone get that joke if I said in federal prison, oh, is he wearing jeans with flour on it? No, Asians don't go to jail. Yeah. Only in China. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So you should feel bad for judging me. I do. No. It's a waste no. of time to try and rehabilitate some criminals. See, this is more relevant to your... Uh, actually, you know what, though? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> some criminals, some be criminals? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There are some criminals. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I do agree with that, Bain. too. The business person and the manufacturer yeah. are more important than the writer and the artist. Hmm, but a writer and an artist is a business person in many cases. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. They're, I, they're I, almost they're always. The I strongly people. agree. Right. I guess that I agree in the sense, but I believe that if you, cre this is one thing that, this is the problem with postmodernism, and this is how you know that this is created by a postmodernist, because they don't understand that art, for art to have uh, any merit, it has to provide value to someone. Right. Yeah, no, right? I agree. I, That's I, what always bothers yeah. me about people saying like, I just, mm -hmm. I just want to do this for me. Really, Pollock? Well, guess what? You lucked out, because yeah. for some reason people are paying for these things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the point is, if you only do art for yourself, it's of no value. Right. Art is meant to benefit the world and but, society. And I, so I, I, I disagree. Think, I think that you can do art for yourself. You can, but yeah. not, not, not if that question, is your vocation. Right. But if someone is their vocation that they're an artist, and they're like, hey, I want to do it. And, and a lot of folks who do the art are not, you know, they're not focused on, or maybe they're, you know, the only time they really focus on the money is if they're like trying to get their, you know, supplies or like to live or whatever it Maybe. But like Green Day, selling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It'd be much. terrible, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I, in, I actually put strongly disagree because I agree with you. The first thing you said, which is the business person is the artist. The artist is mm. the business person. Well, but, but that's just, again, notice how terribly written these questions are. are. We're right. agreeing and coming yeah. up with different answers. Well, but here's the thing, too. So <laughs> You should go with your answer. They're, they're putting the business person I, I and mean, manufacturer as different than yeah. the writer and artist. And so I go, okay, well, they're obviously saying there is a difference between these two. They don't overlap, right. even, even though sometimes they do. But the categories that don't, yeah. I would rather have more business people and manufacturers than writers and artists. Yeah. The question and most artists are separate. assholes. Yeah. But then you gave that answer, and you like Transformers 4, so... 14. <laughs> Disagree. 14. <laughs> um, no, I agree. I agree. I can't Agreed. just fight, Transformer into I the can't Transformers. fight disagree because Gerald has yeah. horrible taste in films. <laughs> hey. hey, not a word, Constantine. Oh. <laughs> Brothers hey, no, was that one justice? Lord I appreciate war. that. Yeah. Yeah, Lord man. of War? Warlord. It, Warlord. No, wait, no. It's Lord of War. Lord of, Lord of yeah. War is a Nicolas Cage one. Lord yeah. of War. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Lord of War. Yeah. Dog War? What was the one with the, the Jonah Hill? War dogs. War dogs. War dogs. That was actually War dogs. I haven't seen that. It, it I try sucked. not to watch good movies. <laughs> we can read the rest of it as Nicolas Cage. M mothers may have careers, oh. but their first duty is to be homemakers. <laughs> <laughs> I was not looking at you when you did that, and it. Oh my gosh! Wow! <laughs> like that I, was, I yeah. encourage you if you're watching this at home to just strongly disagree. Won't we'll bring back your f***ing honey. <laughs> <laughs> Mass Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Repentance is This near. is why I didn't oh, want to do mass, because I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm a very flawed, weak person. <laughs> That's the perfect person to be doing oh, Mass awesome. Monday. Like, Jesus? Don't compare me. Oh, wow. He's unflawed and perfect. Trick question. I want to see who would correct me. He is not a guru. None though. of you have read the Bible. He's not a guru. Uh, He's not a guru. I'm Methodist. I don't read the Bible. <laughs> 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 Ouch. Wow. Hey, I'm going to get a Woo. lot of hate from the Methodists. Yes, but, you will. But if it takes you more than 10 minutes to find the Bible in your house, you can't yeah, comment negatively. Is that a Jeff Foxworthy thing? Where is it? <laughs> yeah. Go. You, you might, might be a Methodist. Be <laughs> I think that's a different guy who does oh, that. Oh, okay. Nary a 
Gideon to be found at Bill's <laughs> Damn household. Gideons. Mothers may have careers, but the first duty is to be homemakers. Uh, agree. Yeah, and agree. I don't mean that the first. If they're priority, mothers, if they are mothers, yeah. your first. Now, but here's the thing: mothers may have careers. Homemaker can be a dedicated career. Right. Someone can make a wonderful home and work a job as well. Yeah. But it absolutely should be a mother's priority, considering that you chose Her to family. give birth yep. to make sure that those children are taken care of, and that means making a house a home. Because you know we yeah. got some deadbeat dads. Just like a man, his his priority mm -hmm. needs to be to provide. Yep. Right. Gerald, are you proud of the deadbeat dads? No, that was actually deadbeat not dads. being proud. Yeah, no, no, no. I didn't dad. like that. Yeah, it. dog. It's just, no, he <laughs> hasn't learned. He hasn't learned how to use sarcasm yet. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, what did I did I do it wrong? Uh. <laughs> you gave two thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. I thought that dads. was bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, Siskel and Ebert are both dead. I know you just figured it out and you think it's a cool slogan. You're going to bring it One back. One and a half it's thumbs just, up. It's just sad. You can't even see it. It just reminds us of death. Still can't see that. Ah. Rude. Multinational <laughs> companies are unethically. We really should have had a beer before doing oh, this. Oh, yeah. Or while oh, we would doing this. Yeah. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing I think countries. They miss, I don't think this is a. Like exploiting Wait. the plant genetic Multinational resources? companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. We gave them GMOs and then you bitched about it. What are we talking about? I don't understand. Plant genetic resources? They're talking resources? about how they, some, like Monsanto will go to another country, they'll take the genetics for a certain plant, they'll come back, then they'll get a patent on it, and then they'll go back there and they'll say, hey, you can't grow this plant anymore because we have the genome. No, yeah, right. Well, Borlaug saved billions well, I mean, of lives, so... <laughs> Uh, are on exploiting the plant. I don't know enough about. I'm not, I, don't I don't know, know the inside baseball of Chiquita. I, I think they <laughs> can be doing She's that. Amazing. So maybe I agree oh. or disagree. I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. I don't know. All right, you know, I'm just gonna go. Mm, but agree. Shit, it's an iPad. It's touch sensitive. And I, well, you're doing it. I just yeah, ruined the whole thing. Yeah, I hit perfect. back. <laughs> oh, oh, God. No. oh but God. it was agreed. Uh, there we go. All no, right. it was disagree. It was disagree. Sorry. Disagree. disagree. Okay, there Making we go. peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Strongly disagree because I don't like the establishment. Strongly anything. disagree. Yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah, I said strongly disagree. Yeah. Oops. You strongly. It doesn't agree. matter. Maddie's one checking it out for me. Yeah, Maddie. Oh, okay. Good job. Because you job, can't Maddie. control. She got it. Astrology. Accurately explains <laughs> many things. Oh, you what? Dumb well, can I add? Sure. If you're an ass. <laughs> oh, Steve. Yes, you can. <laughs> so this is a political is your quiz. Show. This is a political Again, quiz. Political so compass. I love it. I love yeah, it. A political quiz. Are you good? Earlier, are you good at keeping secrets? And twelve-year-old boy, what's your sign? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm a Libra. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> All kids should have secrets. <laughs> 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 I don't like those words. Um, astrology, astrology, oh. astrology actually explains many things. Strongly disagree. You cannot be moral without being religious. Um, I don't. I don't it's know. It's almost that, a trick question. I don't agree with that, but I think, for example, everyone can have a set of morals by which they abide, whether they are religious or not. But I do think that having uh, morals that, of course, are shared in a society is necessary, and that requires. A religious basis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I feel like the. I disagree. Morals, I think that they're. Yeah, I've yeah. known moral people who are atheist, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, not all atheists share the same morality, but then again, not all Christians. Well, but my, my question would be, okay, well, what is morality? Yeah, like, where does is, it come from? Yeah. What What is the standard you're comparing to? We whether need it's to get God to page else. six, and so, we're an hour in this. Okay? I'm just telling yeah. you. Save just it for Mass saying. Monday. Yeah. All right, yeah. fine. If the yeah. church will still have us. <laughs> <laughs> Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. Yes. Yeah. Agree. Agree. Yeah. Some people are naturally unlucky. <clears throat> Gerald. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I agree. This isn't a political question. Of, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I wish it was like sort <laughs> You're of. You're a libertarian. What does that mean? Well, yeah. I knew a foreign <laughs> yeah. exchange student in my high school who quite literally slipped on a banana peel that fell that out still of the happens. trash. And I watched it go into the trash only 40 minutes earlier. Only 40 wow. minutes. Was yeah. it funny? That's fate. It's hysterical. <laughs> it was crazy. Who slips on a banana anymore? <laughs> We've the ICU that. visit was even funnier. <laughs> oh, wow. Because he didn't He's have his coma, uh, huh? social malady. That's our social health care. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you waited stuff. a long time. Uh, it is important. <laughs> <laughs> Queer losing it. Oh, no. It is important edge, man. that my child's school instills religious values. Uh, disagree. I agree. 
I disagree. Right. I, because the problem is, unfortunately, who do you want? I don't think that well, my school should be instilling religious values because all it takes is one bad teacher. Well, well I mean, the, yeah. So yeah. the unstated word is public. Right. right. So if yeah. you right. think that you're, if you think that you want to send your kid to a religious school or homeschool your kids right. religiously, that's great. Right. But it, again, the assumption here is that schools are essentially and, and public. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And to be clear, yeah. with a public school, I, I, I don't agree. want them instilling religion at all, and I don't think that the pledge of allegiance is instilling religion. I, I don't mind. I don't think one nation under God is instilling a particular set of religious values. And I don't think the teaching. Oh, no, I, agree I don't with think that. in Quebec we did. We had moral religious education. Then it was changed to moral education, even though it still included religion in the curriculum. And I actually got kicked out because I questioned an Islamic scholar who came in, yeah. and I said, "Yeah, what about jihad?" And they kicked me out of class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but I mean, instilling religious values. I don't think it 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 means it's just those values that are exclusive to Christianity. Uh, uh, well, here's the problem I too. I also come this. from Quebec, where you know you basically have a state denomination with Catholicism. And, right. and and because I've known I know many good Catholics here in the United States, I hate state enforced any kind of religion. And unfortunately, yeah, sure. we've seen the Catholic Church not get that right when they've been given any sort of I authoritarian. I, I think yeah. it'd be cool to have like a comparative religion class. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, but that doesn't For mean instilling religious values. Well, That's that just an does, objective study yeah. of values. Well, it's not instilling class. them as but values. But he thinks it, it would be fun. <laughs> Again, I've changed I the question. <laughs> option uh, E. <laughs> yeah. Well, e. if you can't make up your mind, do you think it would be nice? <laughs> would it be fun? I don't know. Would you pleasure yourself? What? Joe. Disgusting. Yeah. Jeez, Bill. They're not all your religion. Is disgusting. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh, Gerald. Way to turn that around. I like that. <laughs> I just want to be quiet because I want you to die on the vine. Yeah. No, no. I'll only get stronger. I'll fill the silence. Okay. It'll become uh, worse. <laughs> All right, okay. okay. Yeah. Sex, sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. Agree. Yeah. Yeah, you page six. Actually, you know what? Strongly agree. There you go. Strongly Be agree, strong. you live-in hussies and cads. Cool cats you, and cats. You queens of New England. That bitch, Carol that was the That was the Cider House rules. Filthy whores. Oh, admonishing. Oh, wow. edition. That was. Was it you princes of something? You que you queens of you something? Princes, princes of, of New, New England? England. Yeah. It's a horrible film, by the way. It was nominated. The Cider House Rules. And I saw the nominee. I was a yeah. kid, and I thought, well, I, I mean, I, well, I was a kid. I, mean, I, it's I was nominated. Like, it seems like October Sky and Jake Gyllenhaal at that point and Tobey yeah. Maguire seemed very similar, but d different different career arcs. Yeah. Um, and I thought, like, I'll go. And it looks like nice scenery. It was entirely a film about abortion. The side uh, house rules. Yeah, it's terrible. It's true. And Michael Caine dies because of the chloroform. With the spoiler alert, chloroquine. In case you it, you hadn't gotten Quine. around to it, and it's on your bucket list watching Cider House rules. <laughs> <sighs> Yikes. A same-sex yeah. couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Here's the thing. I agree that they should not be excluded, but I also agree that they should be way down the list, along with single-parent households yeah. and households that have cohabitators who are not married. In other words, the first people who get a kid, the people who get Amazon Prime on a child, should be <laughs> married mom and dad. I don't give a mm. rat's ass about physical attributes, race, country of origin, a mommy, and a daddy, and then down the list we can toss in everyone else, including same-sex couples. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, so Reasonable. they shouldn't be excluded from the possibility of adoption. I agree. Yeah. Pornography, depicting consenting adults, should be legal for the adult population. Agree. I agree. Don't think Free porno speech. is good for you, nope. but I, I don't think that, that I have the right to tell you that you can't do what uh, Bill was talking about before the show. He was ashamed of it. <laughs> that making, funny about making it. pornography? Making. <laughs> yeah. Starring dirty. in your own videos, Bill? Wow. Steven, I thought you were, we were a all fan tell, we were all of telling the First Amendment. <laughs> And well, here you are. After hearing that story, I'm a fan of the second. Yes. <laughs> Especially if I'm looking at your sock drawer. Uh, I never used a sock. <laughs> oh. We had to tell, to be clear, we all had to tell embarrassing <laughs> to stories be before the show to warm up. Yeah. And Bill, like, just overshot it dramatically. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now what do we do? Oh, like, 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 I had a booger once and a girl I had a crush on in grade school. And, and Bill's like, okay. <laughs> Bill went first. Yeah, yeah I, I think I that's worse. Yeah. Hey, I know. Unfair. But I was telling a story. And I was trying to make it more interesting. Thanks for blowing the lid off of it, audio wave. I'm sorry. I'll yeah. remember the next time when you write a punchline that inevitably includes hot, hairy ass. That was once. It was once. more than once. Time. I only allowed it one was, to make air. It was it's very hard. It was, it I was twice. To I let them all make air. It was twice. Uh, the story changes. Hi, audio wave dad. Father of. Okay, let me make sure. Uh, what goes on? Okay. <laughs> What goes on in a private uh, bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Strongly agree. Yeah, that's a different. It's that's different, different from the marriage institution. Right. Uh, anyway, 
No one can feel naturally homosexual. What? Why is this in here? That's weird. A, a quick a quick glance at Project Runway makes it clear that's not true. <laughs> right. Disagree. No Again, one can feel naturally homosexual. Politics? It's yeah. Totally yeah. Well, this is sex now. It you would say, say that, homophobe. <laughs> Why is this a political... What conflict? does that have to do with politics? I don't know. These days, <laughs> openness about sex has gone too far. Yeah. Um... I don't care about that. In depiction of sex in popular culture, I have no problem with people being open about sex and talking about sex because I think, I think that's what allows me, for example, to provide a retort and say, no, I think that sex within the confines of what we believe as Christians, right. marriage is a beautiful thing. Uh, and a lot of wonderful Christian art, of course, depicts the human form, nudity. Yeah, no, no, there's right. nothing wrong with that. But as far as a hypersexualized culture... That's what I lean right. towards. Yeah. I, 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 that's kind of what I thought the question was asking, so that's why I said that. I so I, I, I guess I agree. I mean, I, get, I don't... Mm, I'm so torn. Mm. I, mm. <laughs> agree. It, it's the last question. Can you just click it? Okay, great. Yeah, now please. let's see where you stand. All right. All right here we go. Patty, let's here we bring go. this up. What am I? Oh, you got to scroll. Right. scroll. Scroll. Good scroll. Lord. Scroll. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Right. Those oh, are other more. people. No. Those are going. other people. Right there. There you go. Okay. Oh, okay. There you oh, go. Scroll, I told you. I was. A little. I told you. This There's was like a, a number. Yeah. Oh. Bring it back up. Go Don't back, punch it. Scroll, scroll up a little up, bit. There, there you go. go. Three point three eight. For crying out loud. Uh, economic left, right. Three point three eight. Social libertarian authority at zero point. So, like I said, I'm pretty conservative. Yeah. Pretty conservative with a libertarian leaning. Yeah. I, I was pretty close to you. Nothing on the authoritarian side, which surprises me, considering the fact that I want to, um, I want to round up all, all, all of. Never mind. You can't I was say gonna that. Talk no. About a no, I was going to talk about a children's show. I was going to talk about a children's show, but then I realized it would be a copyright infringement, not a Ow. race. Oh, it, oh, what are you doing? Unless <laughs> Muppets Sorry. are Settle a race. Settle down, Gerald. Sorry. Unless Muppets are a race. They are. That's true. It was they're the not. Teletubbies. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh, Sorry for your ears. But I didn't want to get sued because they're known for being litigious. Yeah, but yeah, if I had wow. my way, I just never mind. All right, let me, I, again, I was. This is the problem with all of these shows not behind the paywalls. Like things that we say. By the way, people, right, yeah. you know that if it's a Mug Club, join Mug Club. You know, uh, use the promo code Quarantine thirty dollars off. There you go. I wouldn't stop myself. I'm not. It's just that I don't want YouTube to remove everything. That's true. Because Maybe. of a yeah. Teletubby slash Holocaust joke in poor taste, mind you. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Yeah. But that hasn't stopped me. Well, when do I get I a poor please. taste button? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it just, All right. So, what are your over. what's your result? Uh, what is uh, your result? Who was ta you were I, taking it? You were taking. I it? took it. Yeah. You got it as okay. well. Okay. Gerald. See, Gerald. All right. I went. Uh, I was uh, four on the right. Okay. Right. And uh, I was actually straight, just zero social libertarian authoritarian, right down the middle. Okay. So, so you're just no toward variance. the right, and then right in the middle. Yeah. I'm four over. So you were three point three eight. So I'm just a little further right. Than okay. You. Yeah. I don't understand how is that because you're more socially like maybe more a little uptight? bit more conservative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What were you uh, half Asian Bill? So I was also in that bottom right quadrant. Um, a, I'm a 1.5 on the right, so more conservative on the economic scale, and then uh, also um, negative 1.9 on libertarian. Oh wow! So yeah. Right about the same level. You're libertarian. more libertarian. So we were both pretty similar. Yeah, we were very similar. Wow. Well, he's more libertarian you were, than you, and he's more towards the center than you. Yeah, you were a little more conservative and just slightly less libertarian. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I will say this: as much as I hate the questions, I, I I think I'm probably a little further to the right than that graph would. Show, yeah. yeah, but that does make sense to the yeah. right libertarian. That does sound about. I like thought me. I would have seen yeah. a little libertarian in mind, but right. I guess not. I didn't think you were going to see libertarian. No, you're not fun enough. Oh. nope. <laughs> it's not like they're. I tell you what, how excluding about this? people. I will, for being I will like allow me. it next time. I give you a pill and you don't ask questions. Mm. Oh. No, that's what's required, by the way, for the internship at Reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's just here's no the pill. Reason. If you're one of us, you'll take the pill. Mm. Um, not red That's pill, blue pill, just any pill. Any right. pill. Uh, okay, listen. All I right, think this was uh, a horrible waste of time. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like myself for having taken it. But Thanks. hopefully, it has uh, served you well because you asked for it, and uh, I gave it to you. So you know what? Remember that when it comes time to renew. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I think most of these bitter. exercises, like if you I would always, if you need someone else to tell you what you. Are yeah, you've lived a, you lived a moron's life. So that being said, I understand why people think this is useful. Uh, I don't know why hosts out there think this is interesting. Yeah, um, not really. But it seems like it was mostly accurate. I would be curious if someone knows who created this test. I'm willing to bet that it was not a conservative American. No, no, because mm -hmm. it doesn't apply. All of these rules, these questions, they can apply across nearly all of Europe. 
and not at all in the United States, just like the First Amendment applies in the United States and nowhere else. It's not the yeah. same question. The context of the question matters. It changes based on the country you're in. And uh, what I will say is if they had a test to see how American you are, even though I'm half Canadian, I would be uh, no parts Canadian. No parts. Yeah. Well, you know, it'd be really fun to just see what other countries rank. Like Germany's got to be like plus 10 on authoritarian. You yeah. Know, you always have to yeah. watch out for those guys. Yeah. Except I bet you right. they'd show up as negative 10 because they try to, they always Game try to go test. too far the oh, other way. Like, yeah. no, we love the Jews now. <laughs> totally, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we're not going to get to an Ash Wednesday. We took a Bye. political compass test so much. We will see you tomorrow. Live stream at uh, 8. Okay. 8. Yeah. Good morning, Mug Club as well. Every, uh, we gotta go.